Hi, I'm Drew Festini of Pumping Station One, and for the Great Global Hackerspace Challenge, we are building a biosensor array. This is an array of sensors that will be attached to the body to record various bodily functions, and then this data will be relayed back to a smartphone or computer to be visualized and logged. For that wireless link between the biosensor array and the computer or smartphone, we've decided to use Bluetooth. On the biosensor array, there is an Arduino board, so I'm going to go over brief overview of how to interface the Bluetooth modem with the Arduino system. So just to show you the development board we have here, this is a um, Arduino Duo Milanove, um, pretty standard development board, um, along with the Blue Smurf modem, which is from SmartFun. So this right now has already been programmed with a simple program toggle an LED and uh, it is disconnected from the computer, it's not powering via USB, it's powering via um, external DC adapter. So let me turn on the power here to the Arduino and when I turn on the power you'll notice that the Bluetooth modem will start flashing the red LED quickly and this indicates that it's ready to be paired. So over here on my laptop I have Ubuntu running and I just need to bring up the Bluetooth manager here and search for a connection. Um, I actually installed a utility called Blue Man as the Bluetooth utility that comes with Ubuntu wasn't able to pair with the Blue Smurf modem that I have here. Um, so Blue Smurf will show up as Firefly um, and followed by some letters and numbers. So just select pair and the pin for the blue smurf modem is one two three four so after doing that it will pair and then once the bluetooth modem is paired to your computer um, you can open up a serial link to it and what this will do is establish a serial device and you can see now we now have a serial device on um, dev slash rfc com zero. So if you're using Windows or Mac, the device name will be slightly different and the Bluetooth utility will be doing slightly different as well. The idea is that your computer would pair with the Bluetooth modem and then it will establish a serial link to the modem. And just to go over a brief overview of how I've set up the um, Blue Smurf modem from uh, SparkFun on the breadboard here. Um, it's actually very simple to interface with a Bluetooth uh, modem. Um, it basically just interfaces with the receive and transmit serial lines that are already on the Arduino. So normally when you're using an Arduino, you have it connected to the USB chip, which is um, uh, inserting itself onto the receive and transmit lines here. So instead of having them go to the USB cable, in this case, the receive and transmit line for the serial UART are going to the Bluetooth modem. So the Bluetooth modem connection is fairly simple. You just have receive receive and transmit on the Arduino connected to um, you have to reverse it so receive on the Arduino goes to transmit on the Blue Smurf and re, um, uh, transmit on the Arduino goes to receive on the Blue Smurf so they have to be um, swapped out otherwise it would uh, you need to trans you need to transmit it to the receive and receive to the transmit um, the other connections on the Blue Smurf are just uh, VCC which goes to 5 volts over here and ground which goes to ground on the Arduino and uh, there is also hardware um, control on the Blue Smurf and those are just connected together um, I can show that in more detail um, on the blog post that I'm going to do um, and otherwise I just have an LED connected here um, just to show a uh, quick example that I'm doing here um, so if we come back over here I already have a Arduino sketch that I um, was able to get from Arduino Playground. So let me pull up the Arduino IDE here. Now this is just a very simple sketch that I already programmed onto the Arduino that uh, when the serial line sends H, it will then turn on an LED and any other character it will turn it off. So now here with the serial port I'm going to connect to, um, rather than the normal um, uh, TTY USB 0, I'm connecting to um, dev slash rfcom0, which is the serial port that is established to the Bluetooth modem. So this sketch has already been programmed into the Arduino, so I'm just going to use it as a terminal emulator. So I'm going to click on the serial monitor, 
and that's going to pop up the serial interface. Um, so this is all pretty normal for people that have used Arduino, just in this case, the serial device is a link to the Bluetooth modem instead of the USB cable. So I'm just going to type in um, this simple program from Arduino Playground. Um, when I type in H and send that, it will then toggle pin 13, which I have this orange LED connected to. So any other character other than H, capital H, it will then turn that LED off. So just to give a quick example here, I'll type in capital H and hit enter to send that and it will receive it wirelessly and um, toggle pin 13. And I'll send another character that say L, hit enter and it turns it back off. So this is just a simple proof of concept that my computer is speaking wirelessly to the um, Arduino via Bluetooth. Just a trivial example. Now the other thing we can do is, other than this uh, sort of crude text-based serial interface, is use processing, which is a graphical programming environment that works pretty well with the Arduino. So I was able to find um, on Arduino Playground a sample sketch that just sort of gives a GUI to be able to control the LED on um, the Arduino. So here I just have a little um, simple GUI, and if I click here, it turns on the LED, and if I click over on this box, it turns off the LED. So the thing you remember here is uh, the computer is not connected via USB to the Arduino. It's all communicating via Bluetooth. So I'll show the Arduino over here, and I click on the left-hand button, LED turns on, and I click on the left-hand, the right-hand button, and the LED turns off. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give a quick overview of um, actually how easy it is to have the Arduino um, communicate via Bluetooth. Um, in the future, I'm going to, rather than just having that simple trivial LED turn on and off, it's going to be actually sending um, sensor data uh, via, via the serial link. Um, so I hope that helped you out a little bit. Um, there was a few things that, um, you know, caught me up at first, but was able to figure it out, uh, mostly due to help on Arduino Playground and other um, links. I'll put those in the blog post. Thanks.